Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video I will show you the unboxing and first look of a new concept knife that I got. This will be the concept knife Helx designed by Mikael Willemsen. The model number is uh, T1008F2 and this is the newest uh, button lock version of this knife because there is also a liner lock version of this knife. Comes in a standard concept concept uh, box with microfiber cloth and literature piece of silica packet and the concept pouch and the knife itself nicely packaged in this bag here As far as I know, the previous version was not released in uh, canvas micarta, brown canvas micarta scales. So uh, when I saw this one pop up for a good price, I had to grab one for the collection, of course. So, so firstly, let me say that this is uh, finally <laughs> a, a full-size tactical EDC. Uh, Michael, of course, is known for his uh, futuristic designs, uh, those gritty urban uh, tactical designs. Uh. And yes, he is a knife designer from Copenhagen. So let me give you the overall specs really quickly so we have a over length of 22.4 centimeters 8.8 .8 inches the blade is 9.3 centimeters 3.7 inches the blade width is 3.7 centimeters or 1.16 inches thickness is 3.4 uh, millimeters or 0 0.13 inches hand length 13.3 centimeters or 5.2 inches with a thickness of 1.4 uh, one one of po of one point four centimeters or zero point five inches. This is how it looks like in my Excel size hand. Has also a nice four finger choil, so you can choke up the nice function jimping on the top. Blade on this one is D two. Nice drop point configuration with uh, black uh, stone washed finish. Okay, I just wiped down a little bit the blade so I can show a nice crisp and, and sharp details on the blade here. Nice little bit contrast with those lines there on the handle we have a stainless steel construction underneath so liners are full stainless steel skeletonized as you can see there and we have natural canvas micarta scales so let me apply also a little bit isopropyl alcohol on it so they will nicely uh, get a nice uh, brown, darkish brown color when they are uh, used or saturated with uh, oils from your fingers, basically. Also, also a really nice uh, back, full back spacer with this jimping here, so that it will lock your hand really nicely. It rides on a cage ball bearing washers for the pivot assembly. For the lock we have the button lock configuration here. Nice centered black G10 backspacer for the material for the backspacer. As far as the pocket clip goes we have folded over stainless steel deep carry with uh, light to, I would say light 
not even medium, this is a light tension, so this is perfect for your uh, EDC use. Opening method is via this flipper tab here, but also you can open it while pushing the button and just flick it out this way. So let me grab a piece of paper here to show you the sharpness out of the box. Yeah, really nice and sharp. Okay, let me show you the pocket profile really quick. So here is how it will look inside your your pocket. Nice carry with the same stone washing as as the blade and also as the liner it does have with this nice contrast uh, finish to it okay as far as weight goes we have 150 grams or 5.3 ounces so for a full size knife this is definitely not a bad weight for it so now uh, let me also show you the dreaded stick test so uh, will the button lock fail or not so this is perfectly fine no blade play whatsoever uh, really nice okay now uh, let's talk about the variants so if, if I'm counting also the um, liner lock ones, I did find uh, 17, uh, 17 models with the liner lock and 5 models, or 5 versions uh, with the button lock. So from all of, uh, all of uh, different kinds of, um, uh, different kinds of G10 to, to, to CF, uh, but uh, as far as the uh, the my carta goes uh, so, the, the, so as far as the button goes you can choose either brown or green blue and black uh, my carta or a jade g10 and there are then configurations with, uh, with with blade finishes so if you don't uh, like brown my carta then uh, check out the other versions okay now let's talk a little the pricing uh, this is what uh, what really surprised me. Yes, it is D2, um, but uh, the the MSRP was seventy dollars, and uh, the usual street price that I could find it was around forty nine US dollars or thirty nine euros. So, for such a such a big knife, uh, I'm really happy that they kept the price extremely low. I would I would say nowadays. To have such a nice big knife with a named uh, designer attached to it, uh, paying fifty dollars or thirty nine euros is is excellent. So so really great job concept concept for uh, bringing uh, this to the knife community, knife world. And now uh, let me also show you a few size comparisons and also uh, options out there. So, okay, so let's. First, start with my XL size bag lighter from Kaiser, since it's also button lock, also flipper, and also my carta. So yes, uh, this is price here at around eighty, so almost double. But yes, uh, you are getting one fifty four cm, and uh, I would say a really nice, uh, nice canvas my carta version on this one too. So I do not have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Mikkel's designs in my collection. I uh, I just browsed to my box of knives that I uh, have have different design uh, designs, and uh, the Black Fox uh, Munin came out. So you definitely see the his his DNA, his uh, his uh, design language in his knives. 
Okay, let's continue with you know, uh, Cold Steel Recon 1. It is uh, a little bit smaller than the Recon 1. Seven ten, the legendary tactical ADC. Let's continue with the Ace Grant from a Giant Mouse. Right model one. Kershaw Blur So this is the regular sized big lighter from Kaiser Spyderco Endura Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. Benchmade Bug Out. CVV Elementum. QSP Penguin. Full-sized Griptilian from Benchmate. There's the Petrified Fish model PF949 Warrior. Let's see the Rough Rider Peanut. Best tech man, Dundee. CGRB uh, Pyrite Alt. So basically the, the smaller size version of the Pyrite. Then let's see the CGRB full size Feldspar. Buck nice Sovereign, another nice bottle lock EDC. And let's do a Sharpie here. I have here also my TR 4.1 from Protec. Yeah, let's close it down with the Kiba Dozier Folding Hunter. Okay, so overall I must say that the Cancer Knives Helx is a really nicely designed full-size tactical EDC. If you are in the market or want to get a very nice, I would say, finger safe, uh, large or big knife, uh, folding knife, then check out uh, this one and uh, there are uh, lots of uh, different uh, variants of it if you don't uh, like the, the button lock there is also the line lock version but uh, not uh, the combination with brown micarta with that being said i like you. thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave comments down below i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can of course if you're a subscriber thank you very much big thumbs up to you and if you're not a subscriber then please consider subscribing do not miss any future videos. With that being said, wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.